Good morning, this is Thursday, November 2nd, and today's devotion is Obedience or Independence. This is John 14, if you, if you love me, keep my commandments. Our Lord never insists on our obedience. He stresses very definitively that we ought to do it, but he never forces us to do it. We have to obey him out of a oneness of our spirits through the Holy Spirit with him. That is why whenever our Lord talked about discipleship, he prefaced it with an if, meaning, if anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself. That's Luke 9. In other words, to be my disciple, let him give up his right to himself, to me. Our Lord is not talking about our eternal position, but about of being valued to him in this life, here and now. Eternally, we are secure. That's initial sanctification. He's talking about entire sanctification. Give up himself, and self dies hard. Self is a hungry beast. It wants to be fed all the time. That is why he sounds so stern in Luke 14. Never try to make sense from these words by separating them from the one who spoke them. Don't try to separate Christ saying this from the Christ himself. He's saying it. He went through this on Calvary. The tomb, hell, rising again. He knows what he's talking about when it comes to death to self. The Lord does not give us rules, but he makes his standard very clear. If my relationship to him is that of love, I will do what he says without hesitation. If I hesitate, it's because I love someone I have placed in competition with his name, namely me or self. Jesus Christ will not force me to obey him, but I must. Because as soon as I obey him, I fulfill my spiritual destiny. My personal life may be crowded with small, petty happenings, altogether insignificant. But if I obey Jesus Christ in the seemingly random circumstances of life, then they become pinholes through which I see the face of God. Then when I stand face to face with God, I will discover that through my obedience, thousands have been blessed by those seemingly small pinholes of life, God has used them to bless thousands through our actions of obedience. When God's redemption brings a human soul to the point of obedience, it always produces. Anytime we obey God, he will use it to bring about production in his field that he has us in. If I obey Jesus Christ, the redemption of God will flow through me into the lives of others. Because behind the deed of obedience is the reality of the Almighty God. Because through Christ... Salvation has occurred to everyone, and he uses us. He says, greater things will you do, so we can reach thousands and thousands of people. And that's the challenge I have for us today. Has the redemption of God flowed through us into the lives of someone else, into the lives of others, because we allowed self to be crucified? Let's pray. Father, we thank you for initial sanctification, and we thank you as much for entire sanctification, if not more. Because through it, we become vessels from which your Holy Spirit will pour and others can find Jesus. So use us today, Father, we pray. We ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.